Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. Hello, I'm Lionel Bienvenu with the latest from Denver 7. On Thursday, we got our first glimpse of Governor Jared Polis and his ambitious agenda during the State of the State Address. His main message was taking risks and being bold. He said his priority is free, full-day kindergarten for all children, and he wants it to become a reality by this fall. Right now, the state only mandates districts offer free half-day kindergarten, and parents can pay more for the other half. Also on the governor's agenda, health care reform, tax reform in terms of leveling the playing field to make corporations doing business in Colorado pay more, and he's ready to make sure Colorado is 100% renewable energy by 2040. Environmental activists are pushing a judge to unseal documents linked to the criminal investigation into Rocky Flats nuclear weapons plant from 27 years ago. They want to audit the investigation to determine if the refuge portion of the property is safe for recreation and unrestricted exposure. There's concern that the plutonium contamination still exists there. The site opened up to the public this fall. The EPA and the state health department insist that the site is safe. Friday, talks continue between teachers and the Denver Public School District. They have until next Friday to come up with an agreement. That's when the contract with the teachers' union expires. Teachers have been working under a 10-month extension since last March. If there is no agreement by next Friday, the district will ask the state to intervene. Teachers aren't legally allowed to strike if the state is working on a deal. If the state chooses not to intervene, teachers could go on strike. And from the First Alert Weather Center, let's send it over to meteorologist Stacy Donaldson. Well, we have snow headed our way, and it's going to be affecting us all day on Friday. This is our First Alert Action Day. Afternoon highs going from 60s on Thursday afternoon to 30s for Friday afternoon. Then that storm moves out, and we have lots of sunshine over the weekend. Temperatures in the mid to upper 40s, 50s to start next week. Stacy, thank you. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us. Check back here later for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Lionel Bienvenu.